Welcome back, awesome people, to Cocktails and Consoles. It's Melissa and this fabulous gentleman over here. If you have not met him yet, God damn it, go do it. His link is, is somewhere in the screen. This is the awesome Sin and Chaos, otherwise known as Jacob. Jacob, thank you so much for being on the show. I've been waiting a long time for my schedule to get under control that I could bring you on the show. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Yay. And don't put all the blame on yourself. You know I had some blame in this too. <laughs> Mother Nature had blame. This guy lives in, um, was it technically Tornado Alley, Hurricane Valley? I, I forget what they call it. it. It's in Florida. I mean, mm. we're just the tropical center of every fucking disease. <laughs> you guys like, like the like door. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's just, you know, we're right on the ocean, right where the tropics happen anyway. So mm -hmm. if something wants to form, it's going to be like, hey, buddy, and it's going to start spinning <laughs> towards us. <laughs> like, hey, can you introduce me to your friend Kansas? I want to talk to them. <laughs> oh, yeah. How often do you stream now? I try to catch up with you. You are like all hours, aren't you? Yeah, um, I don't have a set schedule yet because I'm just seeing what I want to do with it first. Mm -hmm. um, I don't have any layouts or anything uh, made for streaming at all. So mm. the whole idea is to um, see what games click first and then uh -huh. there. Cool. So I think the last couple times you were streaming, because uh, he streams a lot with the uh, the Two Blooders, who's an amazing community in uh, YouTube that I'm a part of as well. Yes. Oh, I love them so much. It's like network done right. You know, when you get those people who hit you up like, hey, I'm part of a network. Do you want to, you know, come on with us and we'll, you know, promote you. And meanwhile, give us 40% of the earnings you're not making on YouTube. Not the shit with the tube loaders. It's just basically a nice community of creators that we just all talk and we do events together. And this wasn't intended to be a promotion for the tube loaders, but there you go. <laughs> it's a very... <laughs> good set of people that you should definitely check yes. out. We work to collaborate with each other and help each other grow. Mm -hmm. It's it's not a situation where it's all fame hounds and we only pay attention to certain people. It's, right. We want everyone who's here to succeed at what their dream is and we want them to also help everyone else succeed. Exactly. That's why we do a lot of collaboration together. Mm -hmm. the, the draw of YouTube when you see it and you haven't actually gone through making a video, it all seems so easy. You're like, yeah, I'm gonna put up a video every day. I'm gonna live stream like three days a week. And then you live it for a couple of months. And I've just seen a lot of smaller YouTubers just go under quick. Yeah, um, they just, it, it, it's a lack of motivation and effort mm. starts happening. Um, and I, I think I talked about at the beginning where you just you have these weird things that you have to deal with and particularly my hatred is at the beginning and at the end of the whole production. Mm -hmm. I love the middle because I don't <laughs> like sitting there and recording the video because all I have to do is hit the button to record and I'm just playing my game. Right. But in the beginning it's all about, okay, so I need to have this set up, I need to have my recording software doing this because mm -hmm. if it's not doing this and I just played 20 minutes of a game and it's not done, right? Oh boy, howdy, I gotta go do it again! <laughs> <laughs> and then, right before you can play that game, you have to stare at a little thing that's looking at you. You have to say hi to it. And you're just like, God, this feels so awkward because I'm not looking at anybody. I'm talking to a machine, and mm -hmm. the machine doesn't respond back to me. <laughs> <laughs> right? That is the weirdest sense. Like, I've had this sensation twice. The first time when I went to sit down in front of a computer, and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna play FNAF for the first time. I ha and I have to remind myself, you have to look at the camera because the camera is technically your audience, but it's so weird talking when no one else, well, I, I do talk to myself randomly. That's why YouTube wasn't too much of a stretch for me, but it is weird because you're, you're trying to interact with a camera. It's so strange, but the weirdest one, live streaming. I don't know what it is. It's just, oh, I'm live? Because there's no one there to tell you, hey, you are, or hey, you aren't. You have to constantly be looking at chat, which is on a 20 second delay. So surreal. Like, once you get into it, it's good. But the onset, every time, every live stream I've been in, I'm like, oh, this is the weirdest feeling in the world. <laughs> it's, it's definitely weird in that instance, too, because right when you're doing the live stream, mm -hmm. you don't have, a, you, well, I mean, I don't, but I, I know it's not like a set of um, how long you want things to go or you're thinking about um, what's going to happen in the progress or what's up. Anything can happen in the live stream. That's the craziest thing. Right. Because you don't you don't have the chance to edit it out or you don't 
have the chance to ignore the audience because you have to really engage with people mm -hmm. and it's so important that you do that because you want to be the person that communicates with everyone yes yeah and oh my god I know, I know you're interviewing me, but Mel, I, I gotta tell you again, you are spectacular on that. Every time I come on that morning, Monday morning stream, or Monday evening stream, whatever, mm -hmm. I don't care. So good, just like, Thank you me. are on top of everyone. <laughs> I try. I'm curious to see how you got started on YouTube. Like, what drove you to start your channel? Well, I've had my channel for a very, very long time. Really? Very long time. <laughs> um, I didn't really start getting into it until like a couple of months ago because mm -hmm. of uh, Kat when she started her uh, channel. And um, I I didn't want to go in this alone. Right. I was, I was really nervous about doing that because I hate <laughs> going out in front of people. <laughs> but you're so good at it. <laughs> it's just, it's not that I'm nervous. It's just, I feel like I'm going to make a dick out of myself. You haven't yet. <laughs> I know. It, it, I'm very much amazed by that. <laughs> uh, we, uh, but before that, I was using my channel to um, upload a couple of um, gameplay things I was doing with a couple of friends. Just so they could see and show other friends what we had been doing. Mm -hmm. And we were it's mainly just Left for Dead. And we called it Left for Drunk. <laughs> We, we did a drinking game with it, Ooh. and uh, oh, it was awful, let me tell you. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, you take a drink every time you uh, kill a special. Oh, come on. You, you, you take a drink every time a special gets you. You take a drink every time you finish a stage. You take you a drink when you get to the ER? I mean, what the hell? <laughs> Eventually, we just forgot the rules because we were all the way to a point where we didn't even remember them. <laughs> that tends to happen with drinking games. <laughs> the best part, I remember one part that we did, and I, it's my favorite moment that I've done back then, is um, I, I had way too much at this point. And they, they were over-relying on me for some reason. <laughs> when I was sitting there as my giggly mess of myself. And so I found a grenade launcher, and I was like, this is going to be great! <laughs> So you realize Instead how much like, you got to drink. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Just grab it and start shooting randomly, going, woo! I killed all of us. <laughs> that is not awesome. Like, not an over exaggeration either. I was the one that killed everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I oh. could see. Like, well, thank God, because it normally would be me in that group. <laughs> <laughs> I don't plan to live long in the games that I'm in. If you ever see me play, well, any game, uh, you, you'll notice. Check out the Minecraft stream. But anyways, uh, <laughs> that's, yeah, I'm so glad that you did. And I remember I was so happy. Uh, Twitch did one of his uh, podcasts, and that's where I got to meet you and Kat. And I fell in love with you guys instantly. I'm like, oh, my people! <laughs> well, we fell in love with you instantly, too, I mean. Aww. It was just, it was great playing Cards Against Humanity, and it was just oh, yes. so many laughs. I was <laughs> like, oh my god, did she really just do that? <laughs> it's on the back burner, though, because I've got a new project that I'm working on with Civilization. Ooh, do tell. Um, it's going to be with Civ V, because mm -hmm. not everyone has Civ Six, and I'm still experimenting with that thing. It mm -hmm. is so hard. Um, <laughs> really? Yeah, well, I'm gonna make a video to explain any that at some point. Awesome. Um, Civ Five. Uh, I'm gonna make a series called uh, Clash of Countries, mm. and um, it's gonna start on Monday. And um, I've been making art for it, and I'm gonna do a lot of more of a uh, post-production value into it because mm -hmm. that's what I've been learning through my videos about how to do that and where I should do that, and watching how other people do it. Really. Uh, Mm-hmm. I, I've been, I, I study my peers and I like to see what they do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, that looks cool, I'm gonna try that. Um, by, by the way, if you ever think about making a YouTube channel, I know I'm not big or anything, and I don't plan to be big. He will be. It's gonna happen. Thank you, but... <laughs> <laughs> I wanna make it happen, God damn it! <laughs> I love you. <laughs> oh, if you want to be big, though, Pay attention to what the growing channels are doing, yes. not necessarily the big ones, mm -hmm. the ones that are growing. It's great that you've got channels like Markiplier and Game Crumbs. I love watching them. 
but they've already got their niche. Yes. You need to figure out how everyone else is making their own. Mm -hmm. Once you know how they're making their own, figure out how you can make yours and see how they're doing it and evolve into your own persona mm -hmm. of sorts. It's so valuable to do that. But yeah, I'm doing a lot of more of uh, post-editing on that series. Um, Look at it's you. It's gonna feature, uh, well, the first episode is gonna feature Beer and Games and um, Anna Game. Mm -hmm. And um, we each took a leader and I made a really derpy picture of us. <laughs> is that what that's what I've been seeing on Twitter? Yeah. Nice. Uh, Jason was put onto Budika from uh -huh. uh, the Celts. <laughs> And um, Anna was put on Queen Elizabeth to make Queen Annabeth. Ah. <laughs> and I'm going to be on George Washington's face. And it's going to be Washington. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, my brain just took that totally wrong. Uh. <laughs> Don't worry, you're going to love it. The picture comes out tomorrow. Yay! <laughs> but I purposely made us all take derpy faces so I could put them on the leader's faces. <laughs> And um, we're just, we're, we had a great time. It was hilarious. Um, there's going to be some great moments. Um, and I really hope that it helps make us shine a little bit more. Yay! I can't wait to see it. I mean, the stuff you guys come up with. You bring up a really good point about, you know, finding your niche. And that's something you're really good at. And like everyone, even in, in the vast community, I'll call it vast because goddamn it's growing, of just even the two bloaters. It's like you really don't have two people whose format is the same and, and we all do gaming which is hard to do because the market itself is so saturated so trying to find your own niche hard but you know, where a lot of people forget is you know go to your strength your strength is your personality and that is unique and the more you can kind of wrap your show around your personality the better off you're going to be because you know after a while from what i've seen is that people stop watching gaming channels for the game they watch it for the YouTuber. Yeah, if, it, if you were looking for the game, I mean, you can find that anywhere. Just right? look up a walkthrough. It's mm -hmm. so easy to do. Exactly. Um, you, you need to make it a show, not um, a playthrough. So, Very good point. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> entertain. That's mm -hmm. what people are looking for on YouTube. Um, and again, yeah, it's oversaturated. A lot of people are doing it. It's because they... I guess the word I want to use, and I, I feel it's going to be negative, is that there's a lot of fame hounds. Um, I can see it, it that. Just feels like, yeah, it just feels like it's a negative term to use, though, because I don't think there's anything wrong with pursuing what you want. Mm -hmm. It's just um, it's the thought that you're immediately going to get that gratification is the issue. Um, yeah. This is something. Yeah, this is something you have to work on. Um, <laughs> and. You, and I hate to put it out there, but the younger audiences tend to do that. It's um, true. And you bring up a good point. It's it's so easy to be seduced by... I mean, who wouldn't want to play games as their job, game. right? Yeah. But they don't know. And I, I'll admit, I've fallen into that from time to time, too. I'm like, okay, I put out videos. Why, why is this not now my job? Because it's a long road. Longer now than even like when Markiplier and PewDiePie, the reason why they are where they are is because they got it early. That sounds they, bad. They got, no, they got <laughs> it when the market was at its golden age. Yes. That's the thing. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's how it worked. Mm -hmm. And uh, people saw that and thought they could just replicate it. Mm -hmm. uh, and <laughs> yeah. it, it's... It can work. You just gotta really put that effort and motivation behind it. Mm -hmm. Which is, you know, I think I said earlier, a lot of people lose that. That's what yes. happens to channels, mm -hmm. unfortunately. Um, I, I hate to see a channel just give up. It, right? it's, it's just a personal, like, God, I, you put so much work into this and you're starting to, you know, try. Mm -hmm. Don't give up. No. I, I believe in you. <laughs> <laughs> If you ever catch them in a live stream of Dead by Daylight, and, and you allow people that are watching just jump in with you, mm -hmm. definitely play. <laughs> he is the funniest fucking killer I think I've ever seen. Because you're like so social. You'll hang someone up on a, on a hook, be like, "Ah, how are you doing?" Just like smack the body around. And... <laughs> do, you, do you like your accommodations? <laughs> <laughs> Can you give us a rating on Yelp? <laughs> I'll, I'll ask you like a question. If you answer appropriately, I'll leave you alone too. <laughs> Just like walk away. Right. And you're hearing the sound.
sound of like the chainsaw or the fucking bells, which I hate. And then you're just hearing him just like giggling and not even giggling menacing, just giggling innocently. And it's, it's, it's like you're having a hand that's burning and you stick it in ice cold water. It's, it's, it's a conflicting sensation that your body just does no idea what to do with. Just imagining my face on like a little movie cover now and just the, the words above it. The kindest killer. The I'm kindest there, like... killer. <laughs> with that expression, yes! Yeah. <laughs> of course, with a name like Sin and Chaos, this drink had to be completely over the top. As sinful and as chaotic as I could fucking make it. So here's what we're going to do. So, in this just cute little mug stain that we're gonna repurpose, we're going to take, now what's in here is a blend of, remember the ice cream that's in here, salted caramel pretzel sweet cream. Yeah. <laughs> this is a start. Blended with uh, two ounces of vodka. You can use like whipped cream flavored vodka. Normally I'm not a big fan of those, but in something like this, if you don't want that little bit of burn, that's what I recommend to do. And two ounces of Frangelico. So his favorite drink is, uh, I'm trying to remember if it's the slippery nipple or the buttery nipple. Sometimes they change names. The second one, the buttery nipple. Okay. Which normally uses butter schnapps. And in that drink, it's okay. I try to not like to use that because it, it's just that artificial butter flavor. But the Frangelico, along with the pretzels that are already in here, are going to make that flavor happen without having to use it. So, before we add that though, we are going to take our little stein here, along with some melted caramel, and just rim that glass. There we go. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, we just started. And then, I'm gonna take some of that melted caramel and just drizzle the inside of that glass. Yeah. So, <laughs> but just, oh my god, caramel so delicious. I, I fucking love caramel. You know, I wish I could have been a chocolate person. There's just something in chocolate, it's just not for me. But caramel, oh my god. Just, yeah. oh my god. There we go, we'll do another one. Cause this is the Sin and Chaos cocktail, which I believe you named Sensation. Yep. Love that name. <laughs> and it's gonna fucking earn that title, man. There we go. If anyone can do it, you can. <laughs> Thank you. Oh yeah. <laughs> I try. We're gonna take some sea salt and rim the inside of the glass. And hopefully the outside if I can get that without spilling. Now for those of you guys who are thinking, oh my god, why would you put salt in a sugary drink? Salt and sugar and spicy and sugar work really well together. And the benefit also is when you have that contrast, you don't need as much sugar because you got the balance which is going to highlight the sugar. All right, now onto the meatiness. So we have our ice cream concoction here. I'm going to give that a good stir. I just put this in a blender, uh, which is you want a really thick ice cream because of course vodka doesn't freeze. So you don't want the final to final product to be too watery. There we go. And we're going to carefully ooh, ah, pour that in. Still a little chunky. Well, there's pieces of um, pretzel in there. Finally, we're gonna take some good heaping spoonfuls of whipped cream, of course. Because you can't have an ice cream type alcoholic drink without whipped cream. <laughs> uh, I can get this to actually come over the top. It would look so much better. There we go. Uh, the sensation. Looks so good. Mm -hmm. That's, that's, 
That actually came out really well. Yay, and the salt, weirdly, it's the salt that's bringing it all together. And, because otherwise, it, you know, when you get drinks that are really heavily sugary, like uh, mudslides, it just, it coats your tongue, you almost can't taste anything. And the salt kind of helps to counteract that so you can actually still taste more in the ingredients. Well, that's, that's the cocktail. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. You guys, please go check out Jacob. He's just one of the nicest guys that I know, has an amazing channel, especially his um, sub uh, celebrations, which is just so friggin' funny. If you ever wanted to hear this guy sing like a lounge singer, <laughs> I laughed so damn hard, I snorted coffee. Well, Jacob, thank you so much for coming on the show. I really appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Seriously. Oh, it's such awesome. a pleasure. Yay, and we'll see you awesome people on his channel. Cheers! Bye!